Alright, so we've cleared one stage of Mr. X's fortress, but we've got three more to go. I didn't cut this into my usual two and two because, you know, I had the cleanup before, so it was cleanup in stage one, and now it's stages two, three, and four for what has to be the finale. I mean, we're at Mr. X's castle, and we know that Mr. X is behind everything. I mean, what, is, is Cossack going to come in and reveal that actually he was evil all along? Highly doubt it. Anyway, here's a new gimmick. Fake floors, but they're signposted very well. Uh, that little grating floor or whatever that is. That's your indication that the floor is fake, so pay attention to that in the future. You know, in case that ever comes up again. We've also got falling platforms here. Alright, so anyway... I guess, since there's probably not going to be too much to talk about here, uh, in terms of level design, because, uh, Fortress Stage, <laughs> uh, music, uh, I do like this song, I will say, I think this is a pretty good track, the one problem is, typically, the Fortress Stages have, like, two songs that they use for a given fort, uh, rather than, uh, just the one but for Mr. X's Fortress, yeah, this is about it. Again, it's really only a problem because of precedence. Otherwise, this is a fine song to have for the uh, final stages. It's mostly a very helpful theme, you know, get, gets you kind of excited for the finale. It's, I wouldn't call it sad or even bittersweet, but like, there's a, <laughs> there's a non-happy song, part of the song, a non-happy notes. I, I don't know how to describe it. I've said this so many times, and I'll say it so many more times. I'm not a music person, but... I, want, I keep wanting to say somber, but it really isn't somber. Just the beginning notes especially. It, it's certainly not like the kind of oppressive you'd sort of think of for a final level. That's definitely not it, but it doesn't get to the upbeat parts for a little while. Anyway, here's the next boss. The next boss is weak to the Silver Tomahawk. This one is Power Piston. What the fuck is your gimmick again? I think you- yeah, you just make rocks fall, but also you shoot bullets, which... There's a decent spot to stand, though. Uh, if you stand in this corner, not too many rocks will fall on you. And it's pretty easy to tell whether you need to go under its spread shot or over its spread shot, so... Yeah, just stick on the left and Power Piston's done. <laughs> There's a reason I don't remember that boss, and it's because he's, um, not great. Speaking of not remembering, I think I remember this stage, but not perfectly? Alright, I could power roll those out of the way, but nah. That sounds like effort for a thing I don't need. Okay, so this isn't a part of the level I remember. I feel like this has... I'm pretty sure I remember this background being a part of a certain stage. Vaguely remember the latter bits, but I remember a different part of the platforming section. Oh, hi! Hello! You are attempting to set me on fire. Please don't do that. Well, that takes care of that. You could go all that way for an E-tank, but eh. For me, again, it's not really worth it. Anyway, yeah, here is a weak platforming section. You stand on one side, and the other rises. They can only go so far, though. Don't worry, these aren't the kind of platforms that, like, reach the end, and if you're still standing on them, they just fall off. No, d don't worry, it'll just reach the bottom, and then get stuck, and you can't go any farther. Now, technically speaking, you probably don't want to lower them too much, because then that makes jumping to the other platform difficult. However, Jet Roll. <laughs> jet Roll exists, and you should take advantage of this form. The uh, biggest problem here, of course, is... Given how momentum works with Jet Roll, uh, try not to stick near the top, otherwise you might just launch yourself into spikes, but that's why I went underneath instead. <laughs> it's easier. There is still a chance of instant death, but like, I would have to fail near the end of my jump rather than the beginning of it. And really, I trust my aim slightly more than I trust momentum. I don't understand momentum, therefore I'm pretty sure it could kill me at any time. Oh yeah, also you can kill those enemies with power rule, so 
if you were aiming to get that extra life at the start, there's really no reason not to if you're playing the game, you know, without save states and having to restart when you get hit. Uh, if you're a normal person, it's very easy to obtain that life, and you should! Because this is the fortress stage, you never know what's going to happen. You never know how long it's going to take to get through those boss refights in the finale. Hoo-hoo boy, you know how it is! Alright, so yeah, just more of this platforming section, but... Are there no spikes here? I mean, I guess there's still the pit, but again, it's not really as big a deal. As long as I can't catapult myself into my own death, that's a less challenging platforming section, I would say. Okay, that's kind of a tricky one, though. But again, Jet Roll can help you aim. Oh, and I didn't even notice the power roll section on this side. Actually, never mind. That jump's super easy. You don't even need to risk it with a jet. You can just punch. You can't not have punch by this point. It's impossible. There's no, like, level skip function that makes you lose out on abilities. You have to have power roll. And that's not nearly as difficult as, like, the window section in the first stage of Mr. X's Fortress, so... Yeah, there's really no issue there. Alright, the next one, the next uh, boss, is actually pretty great. This is... Metonger Z! <laughs> it is a Metul piloting a mech. <laughs> this rules! I love it. <laughs> it is one of those projectile boss fights, though. Uh, by which I mean, it's really hard to know when he's firing. And also, sometimes he bounces, and there's really no distinction between bouncy projectiles and normal projectiles. Either one of them would be hard to read because they just happen. You can kind of get a timing down on them, but even still, uh, because Matonger Z can, you know, do the mix-up. Uh, that's actually a pretty tough boss fight, especially because Matonger Z gets up in your face. So you do not really have much time to differentiate between projectiles, because they're probably just right in front of you. Anyway, though, that of course is, a uh, <laughs> boss name is named after Mazinger Z. Because, <laughs> I mean, like, why wouldn't it be? <laughs> it was the time period, right? Well... Uh, was... I don't know when, like... Was there a time period where there was a bulk of Mazinger Z references, or is it just one of those things that's, like, ubiquitous throughout history? Like, ever since Mazinger Z happened, there's just a steady influx of Mazinger Z references forever. Uh, I legitimately don't know. I've never actually watched Mazinger Z. I'd probably like it, but yeah, I haven't watched it, so... That's a big ol' shrug from me. Anyway, let's not get shot by this guy. And also, definitely don't slide out this way, because this turret right in front of me, and now behind me, yeah, you'll just dash right into it and get hurt. And you can't kill it, and then go get the item. Because, of course, that guy does respawn. <laughs> you can't escape him. You do, of course, get plenty of time to actually avoid him, of course, because, you know, you can just slide backwards, it's fine. But still... You should not even bother in the first place, because there's nothing in it for you. Alright, so, question is... What is this stage? <laughs> uh... Yeah, so that's one of the big problems, of course, is like... As always, fortress stages aren't great, but... Man, this game's fortresses feel even more tired than usual. Like, what's this? What is this section? This just feels like a section in a fan game where they've kind of run out of, like, actual good platforming sections to do and kind of just make floating platforms with enemies on them, and they're very uninspired patterns. Uh, not to say other Mega Man games haven't had <laughs> that kind of section before, but, you know, that's the feeling I get from them. But yeah, just... Uh, Fortress... Again, Fortress stages have never been my favorite, but something about Mega Man 6's Fortresses is just... They're not fun. <laughs> they're not particularly memorable. The song is the best part, which is good because there's only one of them, so if they screwed that one up, they would really be in trouble. 
Alright, so now... It's time to fight the final boss. It's gonna be the man himself. Mr. X is here to give it to you. In the X Crusher, he swings back and forth and shoots projectiles that split. Now, you might be asking, does he ever try to crush you? No. Not particularly. He just does this. Well, that was easy. What's your second form, Mr. X? You must have one. What? You failed? No, surely not. Surely there must be more to this. Oh my god, it was Wily wearing a fake beard. Who could have seen that one coming? Anyway, I'm sure you're all shocked, so see you all next time for Wily Fortress.